Angela Kelly's getting a lesson in planting this morning. Yeah, she joins us now from New Holstein to tell us about the Farm to School initiative. Good morning, Angela. Well, good morning. We are learning more about the Northeast Wisconsin Farm to School Initiative here at Schwab's, Schwab's Produce in New Holstein this morning. Here's what's been happening. The last year or so, Chilton and Hilbert Public Schools have come together with local farmers who provide the schools with things like locally grown vegetables like peppers and eggplants and tomatoes. And the valuable lesson is to get our kids to eat healthier and eat local. But there's another lesson in there, and it's to learn how much hard work goes into producing the food that we eat every day. Linda and John Schwab are busy um, at work in their garden this morning. And Linda, you're going to teach me how to plant a sweet potato. That's correct. Okay. Okay, first start digging your hole, and you want to get to by about six to eight inches deep down there. Okay. Dig a little deeper. I'm getting my brand name jeans dirty, Linda. <laughs> they wash. Okay, that's probably deep enough. Okay. Now, sweet potatoes, you, you have to plant from a plant, a vine. It grows into a vine. So take this one. Uh, let's give you a bit. Take this one. You want to get that root down into the ground, just like that, and then put your... Your fresh ground that you just shoveled away, put that right around it, a little more around each side, build that soil up around it, kind of make a mound. That good? Yeah, pat it down because you want that soil right to the, to the roots, and then you want to give it a drink of water here. Linda, why do you think it's important that kids learn this, these lessons? A lot of kids don't know where their food comes from. They think it comes from, okay, I go to the store and it's there. And this is a great way for them to learn that it actually, this beginning of their plant, that a sweet potato grows under the ground and we see a beautiful vine as the season goes on. Um, they'll find out that a broccoli actually comes in the flower of the plant. Different things like that. So they, they can take those life lessons with them and for the rest of their lives. Yeah, you and your husband, John, seem to be pretty proud to be a part of this initiative. And we thank you for letting us come on out here and check out your beautiful land out here in New Holstein. And uh, that's it, Pete and Rachel. We do have more information on the Northeast Wisconsin Farm to School Initiative on our website, box11online.com. Just click on the Good Day Wisconsin links. That's a great program. The bottom of the page. Isn't it great? I had no I idea learned... schools were doing this. No, and you know what? In fact, um, I was talking with earlier um, the director of child nutrition services at Chilton Elementary, and she said even more school districts are looking to jump on this bandwagon, like school districts like Nina and Brilliant. So it's really catching up. Seems yeah. to make a lot of sense. It does, all around. Thanks, Angie.